Hebrews 13 and 14, for the world is not your home. We're looking forward to a home yet to come. If you had a good parent, they send you off, they tell you, don't forget where you came from, intimating that I know you're about to walk into an unfamiliar environment. I know they're about to be turned, but don't turn up too much that you forget where you came from. I came to tell you, God has released you into the earth. And some of y'all are about to get lit, about to get turned, but God sent me here on assignment to tell you this morning, don't forget where you came from. Internal convictions got to become louder than external culture. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. For the world, gender is fluid and complex with multiple choices and pronouns. According to the Bible, gender is concrete and clear, male and female. For the world, the definition of marriage is complicated. According to the word, the definition of marriage is clear and concrete. It's between a man and a woman. While the world is divided based upon donkeys and elephants, the church is united based upon the Lamb of God that comes to take away the sins of the world. Love is not comforting me as I sin. Real love is confronting me so I can come up out of my sin. The church can't afford to have laryngitis in this hour. In this hour, I need some Christians who will let their light so shine among men so they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven.